Again, as many things do, with a song. Adonolam asher malach b'ter emko yitzir nivra liad nasa v'chel tzoko atzai melech shemo nikra. You have a beautiful singing voice. His final, his final note fades into the nearby empty synagogue, unheard by anyone. As I, as, as I had hundreds of times before this, I would speak, and as I had hundreds of times before, I began to wonder why. <coughs> Thank you, Canter Kaplan. Today in my sermon, I'd like to discuss suffering. Why do bad things happen to good people? Wherever there is pain or oppression or poverty, the question is always the same. How could God let this happen? Is God as good as we think? Can he, in fact, do evil? Maybe, on occasion, he even enjoys inflicting pain. I... I took a, I took a good hard look around my world. I. And then it hit me. No, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Rabbi. You heard. Huh? What? Go home, Mrs. Raymer. Is it over already? Yeah. Rabbi Stone, wait! You can't just stop. Sure, I can. Just watch me. But. It's over, Josh. You can't mean that. Look, you're a good kid. You've got a good voice and a good future. Don't let me hold you back. Now do a mitzvah and call Mrs. Raymer a cab. I... Goodbye, Josh. Ethical dilemmas have played like religious leaders since the dawn of time. But morals don't mean crap without the personal experience back them up. Knock knock. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I said. Oh my good god. Fine, I'm coming. <laughs> I thought I told you to go home. Rabbi Stone, there's someone here. Tell him to get lost. There's no service tonight. No, it's a, a cop. cop. Huh? Detective Sam Durkin. <gasps> Sam Durkin! Detective South Precinct. Could I talk to you for a few minutes, Rabbi Stone? This is canon. This is part of the Blackwell universe. Does this count as a Blackwell game then? It's a free country. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's a comedian. Can you talk or not? Fine. Josh, take a hike. So, what can I do for you? I assume you're not here to convert. Are you familiar with a Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I be? I'm asking the questions, Rabbi. Fine. Let me think. Lauder. Lauder. Oh. You know him? Yeah. What can you tell me about him? He used to belong to this congregation. Used to? But not anymore? No. Left about eight years ago, I think. What's this about? Have you had any contact with him since? No, I haven't. Care to fill me in here? Do you read the papers? 
Not recently. So, you're not aware, Rabbi Stone, that Jack Lauder has been dead for three days? I did my best to control myself. I know this man's type. His eyes scan my face like a barcode reader trying to read every telltale sign of emotion. Any flicker, any twitch, could be used against me later. No. Does that bother you? Should it? Answer me, Stone. No. So, you and Mr. Lauder weren't close? No, we weren't. What's the deal, Durkin? I've seen Lauder's will. He left you a significant amount of money. He left me money? Is this a joke? Are you joking with me, detective? No, I'm not joking. How much? I don't have the exact amount, but somewhere in excess of 10,000. Bull. It's the truth. Jack wouldn't give me bubkiss, let alone ten thousand dollars. And why is that, Rabbi Stone? He just wouldn't. Huh. Hmm. Durkin! This temple's in pretty sad shape, isn't it, Rabbi? Well, you're not blind, that's for sure. Can you afford the repairs? I... Do I look like I can afford it? I'm just asking. Oh, you're just asking? Well, I'm going to ask you to leave. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Rabbi Stone. Get out of my office. Listen. No, you listen. Really? I know okay. where this is going, and I don't like it. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're a real mensch. Get out of here. I think that's also, Fine. uh... I'll leave, Rabbi Stone. Joey's voice back. actor, too. Yeah, I bet you will. Because <sighs> he hasn't ever stepped down. Durkin! Butts. The rain beats an irregular... I can't remember. Rhyme? Rhythm? <clears throat> Against the window. Oh, God. I can only hear one thing. Jack Lord. Jack, I'm gonna write this name down. I feel like it's gonna be important later. <sighs> and I'm gonna be like, uh, what do I search? Uh, uh, how do I spell his name? The man pulled out a cork in my brain, letting loose old thoughts and memories that fought and struggled for supremacy. Jack Lord. It was more than just a name. It was a link to a time when things were simpler. A time when I thought I had it all figured out. A time when morals and ethics meant something. A time before it all turned to crap. I need to think. Josh had his computer. Set up his computer a few weeks ago. He claimed I needed to join the 21st century and connect with the community. Josh had been bugging me to start using it, I suppose now is a good time as any. If only I can remember what Josh chose my login password for. Uh... Okay, that's not gonna work. Has it really been 30 years? Is it
Wow, Rabbi, what was that all about? The detective had some questions for me, that's all. So who was killed? Josh, what did I tell you about listening at my door? <laughs> I wasn't, Rabbi, honest. You were just... Very loud. Huh. So who was killed? Was it that lauder guy? How do you know that name? Well, I heard you. Huh. We must have talked very, very loud. loud. Well, yeah. So who is he? An old member of this congregation. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, well, it happens to the best of us. Are you going to pay a shiva call? I don't think there will be a shiva, Josh. Why? Shivas are for Jewish families. Just forget it. All right, if that's what you want. I guess I'll go now. Yeah. No, Good no, night, before you leave, before you night, leave. Rabbi. No, before you leave, my login, my login! $10,000. Less than 20 minutes ago, I accepted defeat. The bank was going to foreclose on the property, and there was nothing I could do. Jeff's money changed all that. The... Uh, I tried. Synagogue would remain open. I wouldn't have to see my life work turn into a shopping mall or a park. Has God answered my prayers? Angel question. What is the work of God? And what is the work of a man? The money was a I couldn't believe God would work that I way. I don't like it. Not one bit. Why, Jack? Why me? Why now? They say God helps those who help themselves. And I had done absolutely nothing to get this money. I didn't trust it. Suddenly, the Cantor's words came back to me. A shiva call. I can't just barge in unannounced. But I can pay a shiva call. It's the only way. Period of warning. Right click and hold to show all items on screen. Oh, wait. Oh, that is so much useful. What are the boxes? As much as I would love to break open a bottle of Kitas wine, I don't think it'll be appropriate. Can't go to the computer until I know my password. Then, then, then. No, no. Okay, let's go and pay a shiva call, I guess. Whatever that means. Also, well, apparently I was pronouncing that correctly. Well, this whole entire time I thought. Oh, I need to figure out where he lives, don't I? How would I figure out how where he lives? Maybe my login's over here. Something easier for him to remember. Wait, our stone is a login. Okay, this need to 
password or then? Password? What would the password be? Clue! Busy buddy! Okay. That's easy enough to figure out here. Busy buddy, a Yetta. Hello, Rabbi Russellstone. Please choose the options below. Found dead last n last night in his midtown office, victim of an apparent assault by person. The person's unknown. Okay, that should be it. Hello, Rabbi Stone. I set up your account for you. Hopefully, it'll work okay for you. You can change the password if you want. Most people choose things like their mother or their wife's maiden name. But I thought this would appropriate. Ha ha ha. I have been out for many years and I can't bring myself to listen to your dark and gloom sermons anymore. Ugh. Free games. Oh, that's a seamless plug right there. That was a seamless, shameless plug. My friend can't attend to you, sir. Last few sermons have accepted those children. Oh, well, so it's my fault, huh? Is that Tomo? Tomo! I'll search Tomo in a second. I also notice. Disappointed. Mrs. Lauder? Yes? I heard about your husband. I came to pay my respects. Oh, you knew Jack? Some time ago, yes. All right, come on in. I'm sorry, you look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? If I wanted answers, I'd have to know who I was. This was a required. Uh, my name is Rabbi Russell Stone. Your husband used to be a member of my congregation. Oh, I remember now. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're sorry, are you? I'm so glad to hear that. Jack would love to hear that you are sorry. He knows already, Mrs. Lauder. Too late, Rabbi. Too late. What do you want? I just want to talk about Jack. Talk? Just came by for a friendly chat? Is that it? I... Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago. And now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right, and yet you're here. Why? The police visited me today. Did they? Yes. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. Why would it who make sense? Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? How would that make sense? It was eight years ago. Why would he murder him? Why would he murder him now? I'll let that slide. Whatever. Jack hated you. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder. 
If he hated me so much, why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible. I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The Cops. police told me. I have no love of the police, but I doubt they'd lie about that. Mrs. Lauder, if Jack hated me so much, why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This makes no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Don't you start. You have no idea. The police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... well... I suppose I'm curious, and I'd like to... help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I feel guilty. I can't take Jack's ten grand without doing something to earn it first. Pfft. Why not? Why shouldn't a rabbi play at being detective? <laughs> you want to investigate, Rabbi Stone? Be my guest. I'll have to ask you some questions about what happened. Can't you just ask the police? They won't talk to me. I'm a suspect. Fine. Fine. Ask whatever you want. Neat. I never got that achievement before, huh? How did Jack die? He was shot right in the head Oof. at close range, according to the Execution? police. Execution? I I'm sorry, Mrs. Lauder. He was in the showroom, working late. That's all I know. What business was your husband in? We were in business together. Fashion design, high-end casual wear, shirts, blouses, slacks. I'd design and he'd sell. Was the business successful? We did all right. It was tough at first, but things have been picking up over the last few years. We sell to mainly boutique stores, but Macy's has bought several pieces from us, and Saks was interested. And what happens to the business now? Are you going to run it by yourself? I guess I could, but not right away. And definitely not in that same showroom. I can understand that. Where is your showroom? Why? Do you want to have a look? It can't hurt. Oh, this is crazy. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Sure, if you want to have a look, go ahead. Just because trained police hungry. officers couldn't find anything doesn't mean a rabbi can't. The building is 1407 Broadway, room 903. Once oh, guess, I'm gonna find something. Sam Durkin, you're sleeping on the job. You've covered up the mirror. Yes, it's what you are supposed to do, right? Well, yes, but... I know, I'm not Jewish. I'm probably doing it all wrong, but it feels right. Is it right, Rabbi? It's... perfect. Thank you. How are you holding up, Mrs. Lauder? Fine. As well as can be expected. What is the name of your business? Charming Fashion Company. Charming? Yeah, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind it. It's based on my family's name, Sharma, and it sounds like charming. I get it. Real cute. Can you tell me about your company? Sure, what do you... I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks, I guess. Rabbi Stone? Yes? About eight years ago, could you just tell me... Why? Were you and Jack happy? Yes. Y yes, we were. Then my reasons don't matter. Oh, uh, kicked him out because you weren't marrying a non Jewish person. Uh, mm, mm, okay. Charming fashion. Okay, what is in this room? Rats, tummy.
Oh, anniversary flowers. Yep, okay. Did you get that? Okay, well, check the computer, I guess. Good morning. Uh, how would I figure out his password? I need your password to your computer. This is oh, it come up. Can you tell? Sure. What do? We would have thought hi I I'm going to oh. fat wife's name maybe Don't forget anniversary flowers. Maybe it's flowers? their anniversary Ooh. how would I find out their anniversary or is it or maybe it is flowers let's try flowers or I just keep clicking until it gives me a hint or locks me out. Flowers? No. Eh, 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 eh. No, it's not gonna give me hints. Also, it should like. Well, I think it's one of these things. stuck <laughs> let's think we go back and ask her uh, talk her We did. It was tough at first. We said. What is the name of your business? Charming Fashion Company. Charming. Yeah, it, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind it. It's based on my family's name, Sharma, and it sounds like charming. I get it. Real cute. <laughs> and what happened? I guess I could, but not right away. And definitely not in that same showroom. I can understand. Can you sure, what do you 
was the... We, it was, we sell to mainly boutique stores. But Macy's has bought several pieces from us, and Sachs was interested. Raven! And what ha- I- and I'm going to ask- Fang. How's it going? <sighs> Holy shit, I know this room. Oh, 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 I just realized something that I didn't before. This game is part of the Blackwell universe. Because we got visited by Sam Durkin. <clears throat> okay, I need a password. So in the last black weld, which won't be played for another month, we ordered my we ordered the costume, and it won't come until like the middle of uh, May. I have no idea how to figure this out. There's a photo of Miss I on the post a note reading, Don't forget anniversary flowers. I am assuming that the anniversary flower, like, the anniversary is supposed to be the password. But I have no idea how to figure this out. I can't believe I'm this stuck this early in. She just talks about her business. Maybe there's- why would they have a note about anniversary if- Was she a police woman? I don't know. No, 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 she's not. She owns this, um, fashion boutique. So I'm guessing it's the password. I don't want to look it up so early in. There's nothing in this room tells me. And she just talks about her business. Charming was the name of Jack Lawyer's fashion business. Okay. Maybe you have- no, cause you wouldn't. Cause you kicked them out because they wouldn't get married. She doesn't- hmm. Okay, I have no idea. And there's nothing in this room's giving me information. Uh, 
password is her last name. Oh, what? But why would why would there be anything about their anniversary next to the computer? That is very misleading. I forget what she said her last name was. What we were in fashion design, high end casual wear. I design and heat. Was we did all right. It was tough. We sell to mainly boutiques. And what happens to the? I guess I and definitely I can understand. What is the name? Charming. Charming. Yeah, it, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind. It's based on my family's name, Sharma, and it sounds like charming. I get it. Real cute. Okay. I'm going to ask. Thanks. Hmm, I feel like there's going to be a lot of these in here where I'm like, I have no idea how to figure this out. So it's like, oh, how am I supposed to know this? Macy's, ooh, nice, okay. I getting a lot of money for personal. Business matters. That must be an overnight oversight. I'll look into it. Something isn't right but with this deal, all the wire transfers lead to a different place and nobody answers the phone. Don't panic. Look at the bottom of this. A model, a fit model, cancel again. Okay. Call me now, we need to talk. Hey, I got you. I got you into this mess. I will get you out. Oh God. What kind of mobsters are you in? I mean, with tonight, do not write any more checks until. Oh, drug. Okay. That's Joe. Rabbi Stone, it's been a while. I hope I got the correct email address. No doubt you are surprised to hear from me. I'm not sure why I'm writing either. I often think about what I said, and it still angers me. But I understand your motives. You looked 
at us and said, Nothing is worse when, when a Jew turned their backs on one another. I can still remember that look in your eyes. Sheer contempt. Like we were the worst sort of scum ever crawl out of the ocean. I love my wife, Rabbi Stone. She is my partner in everything. I forget nothing. Nothing that is except you. I hated you. For years, I hated you. We both did. I joined another temple with a rabbi who was willing to marry us and try to forget about you. And when I found myself in trouble and in need of guidance, I could think of nowhere else to turn to. Uh, you called me a traitor once. Do you still feel the same way? I've seen traitors. I've seen Jews turn their backs on other Jews. It's not pretty. It's awful. I'm not like them. Time has cooled my hatred. Has it done the same to you? I need to speak to you. I feel like I am 12 years old again, preparing for my bar mitzvah and needing help with my... Okay. I know I didn't marry a Jewish girl or go to the temple every week or keep kosher or do any of this things you might supposed to do, but I always know that I'm true-ish. Is that enough? I'm not a traitor. Oh. My glues. Well, duh. Before I talk to her, I used search the name. Let's try to talk to her then. Have you ever heard of the name Joe DeMarco? Joe? Joe. Joe. Yes, I've heard of Joe. He was one of our first investors. He invested in Sherman? Yes. Why did you need an investor? Well, we didn't have much money to start the business with. All the banks saw us as a poor risk, so we needed independent investors. Have you ever met Joe? Jack handled the money stuff, although I know Jack didn't like him. Why not? He didn't say, he just didn't like him. But we were desperate, so we had no choice. How did they meet each other? I think they were introduced. At the temple of all places. At temple? So Joe DeMarco is Jewish? Maybe. Why? DeMarco is not a very Jewish name. And that's important to you, is it? Not to me, no. But it's certainly significant. Do you know if your husband did any business with a man named Ethan? Ethan. Ethan. The name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. 
I'm sorry. To be honest, I didn't really keep up with the business side of things. Is he involved? Hard to say. Maybe. Do you know anything about Ethan G? Ethan G? The name sounds very- I'm sorry. You really think Joe DeMarco is- J I told- Have you ever J J He was one. He yes. Why did well, all the bad. So we needed. Have you ever? J Although I know. J Why not? He did. But we. How did they? I think at the temple of all places. At temple. So Joe. Maybe. Demarco. And that. Not to put it. I was hoping you'd give me like I'm the going name to of your temple. Do you know anything? Ethan, the name. Do you know anything? Ethan, the name. I'm so. You're I. Do you know? Ethan, I'm so. Is he in? Or have you ever? He. What? Where? All the banks. So. Have you all the. Why? But. How? I, 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 not but. So you're not gonna tell I'm me the name of your. Thanks. Table. Okay. Synagogue, do you guys go to you? <laughs> Did you make donations to your? Oh, okay, there it is. Yep. <laughs> like, they might make donations to their uh, synagogue since they have a business. Okie dokie, thank you game. But 
try speedrunning this game too. It's a Blackwell game. It has Sam Durkin in it. Save universe! Okay, uh, what's in here? Okay, let's go online. Meh. I've seen better. I suppose it's okay. I can't believe they're just leaving it here for anyone to come in and take it. They must have dozens of them in a back room somewhere. <laughs> the desire to scratch with my keys are strong, my path is... I like that. It's both brand new. Usually polished. Eh, I've seen better. Several photos show a group of children sitting around a table. Two men like the children smile on the camera. Oh! E. Goldberg! Must be Ethan. Goldberg, Goldberg, Goldberg. Sorry. Yes? You're the chief rabbi here at Beth Tikva. I do carry that honor. So. What can I do for you, Mr... Uh... Rabbi, actually. Rabbi Stone. Well, fancy that. I can always spare time for a fellow rabbi. What brings you to our humble synagogue? I want to ask a few questions about Jack Lauder. Lauder, Lauder. Where do I know that name? Is part of your synagogue? He was a member of your congregation. He died a few days ago. That's right. The funeral service don't even was remember yesterday. Name of your I honestly don't know where my head is these days. Mm -hmm. You conducted the ceremony? Yes. His wife insisted on it. Did she now? If I may ask, what is your interest in Mr. Lauder? He was a friend. Was he? A close one? No, imagine not. Jack was a member of Beth Tikva. Not... Uh, what synagogue did you say you were from? I didn't. My mistake. Did a Joe DeMarco ever belong to this temple? DeMarco? That's hardly a Jewish name. I know. Although, <laughs> it's difficult to say. As I told you, it's difficult to keep track of individual congregation members. He was an investor in Jack Lauder's company. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. Should it? No, I suppose not. Do you know anything about Ethan G. meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, ever so, I'm afraid... Are you familiar with an Ethan G.? Ethan G? Is that his name? Just an initial, as far as I know. Ah, well, nothing leaps to mind, I'm afraid. Do you know anything? I don't know about you. Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Lauder? I'm afraid not, Rabbi Stone. My congregation is rather large, and Mr. Lauder seldom attended services. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what that's like. You certainly don't. Does the name? Dim yes. Sounds Italian. Other than Italian. That, it's me. Okay. Well. Good night to good. That didn't get me anywhere. All I now think his name's Goldberg. Uh, 
I suppose it's okay. Meh. I can't believe they're just. They must have. The name Dim yeah. sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Does the Di Marco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Sorry. No. Does the Di Marco? Yeah. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Italian. Sorry. <laughs> Good night. Good. Nothing new. I'm gonna try looking up that Ethan Goldberg though. Oh shit! God damn it! My new delete. Sorry, dead. Take me too long with the, the Flagwell game, and I'll be able to have lunch before doing Dark Souls. Now let's just. Wait, I have. Do I have a new. Stop it. I have a new name, right? Goldberg. 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 Yes? I was hoping you could tell me something about Ethan Goldberg. I know he used to work here. Ethan? Oh, what a tragedy. That man did wonders for this community. It's a shame what happened to him. You know about his death? Of course. I conducted the funeral service myself. I recently found out that Ethan Goldberg and Jack Lauder did business together. Really? I'm not surprised. Ethan offered his services to many people. He was a whiz with an adding machine. So I heard. Okay. Doesn't any of this strike you as odd? Should it? Two Jewish men, both in business together and both belonging to the same synagogue, are killed within two weeks of each other? 
A third man, who may or may not be Jewish, is nowhere to be found. There are only two connections between these three men. One is Jack's business, the other is this synagogue. Rabbi Stone, I hope you're not suggesting anything... I'm not. Let me finish. People all over the world use religious communities to network and conduct business. This is nothing new. You know this, Rabbi Stone. If there is a connection, it has to do with their business dealings and nothing to do with Beth Tikva. I won't stand for a reputation being tarnished. Do I make myself clear? As crystal. I'm glad we understand each other. You, uh, now, you if you'll me, excuse man? me, it is rather late. I understand. I'll see myself out. Wait, let me give you my card. Get someone's nerves. Get thrown out. Feel free to email me if you have any more questions. Well, I got kicked out of there. Excuse me. Hello? Just ignore me. So you seem to be staring in space at something that wasn't there. In another place, another time, I might have stopped to help her. But people like her are a dime a dozen. Excuse me. I'm looking for information on Ethan Goldberg. He was killed outside of this bar. Do you know anything about it? He gave me with the player that told me everything I needed to know about asking questions. Do you know? Evening. Yeah. Nice night. Whatever. So what's your name? Look, could you leave me alone? Do you know Joe DeMarco? Sure I do. That's my name. Really? Yeah. What of it? You're a hard guy to track down. Well, yippee. You found me. What do you want? What's your beef with Ethan Goldberg? Never heard of him. Your name appears in connection with his. Lots of Ethan Goldbergs. Lots of Joe DeMarcos. Both are common names. You got nothing, so leave me alone. Ethan was killed just outside of this bar. Coincidence. You still got nothing. Do you know Rabbi Zelig? What's a rabbi? His full name is Amos Zelig. Nope. Sorry. What's your connection with Jack Lauder? Don't know him. Sure you do. He wrote you a number of checks. Whoever he wrote them to, it wasn't me. Your name is on the checks. Then it's some other Joe DeMarco. 
get out of here. Are you Jewish, Mr. DeMarco? Huh? No. What the hell is Jewish? This was either fake or genuine. Either way, that might Never mind. Nice. Whatever. What's your name? Lot, lots, both. You got Ethan McCoy. Yes. So, yeah. Excuse me. I'm looking for inf Excuse Hello? Yeah. Who is he? An account. We used him to not full time. Just wait. Not anymore. He's dead. What? Since about a week or two. Murdered. My God. What is happening? That's what I'm trying to. F I'm going to. Oh, thank. Dudes. Is it O A M O? Okay. Oh, maybe if I just I'll try that.
tangle the synagogue anymore. his computer password pet oh dodger then uh, I wrote down dodger and his wife's name I'm a bit concerned about this investor you, you set up with Joe. Oh shit! He was Ethan. Oh sh! Oh, the rabbi is in trouble. And that you took the time to help us out. We were. character was okay do a rabbi kill him oh shit wow Rabbi. I even I know what a rabbi is, and I'm as dumb as rocks. Your so-called investor is demanding more interest, and I'm bring me and my wife. How do you do this? Oh, this is why he treated you to me. I was better off with Stone. His he was pig-headed and arrogant, but at least you, at least you know where you stood. Watch your back, Rob. I'm going to buy him. Oh well, he didn't. Cause I'm shit at you. You're certainly keeping me busy. Got your message, so let know when it's done. He's a hitman! He's the rabbi's hitman.
Rabbi's hitman. Let's see if he's a little more talkative, but I know he's a hitman. Hey, buddy! It's all your emails. Evening. Yeah? Your name comes up yet again, Mr. DeMarco. This time in several emails addressed to Rabbi Zelig. So? So, what's the deal? It wasn't me. It was another Joe. Can it? Sing another tune, because I'm sick of the old one. It's enough evidence to book you if I choose to go to the police. So are you gonna tell me what's going on? Joey Marco gave me the once-over. His dull, pale eyes explored my face. He knitted his eyebrows as if he's doing some eternal calculations. And finally nodded. Fine. You wanna talk? Let's talk. But not here. Follow me. Oh, he's gonna murder me! Bye, Rosa. I buy your wig. <laughs> Come on, Rabbi. We'll have more privacy down here. Oh, yeah. This is a trap. You've pissed off the wrong people, Rabbi. I had no problem with you, but now I gotta kill you. I see. You're an assassin. I had a feeling you were smart. Your people are in this very, very deep. My people? people? You mean Jews? You mean the Jews? A very cozy operation. Tell me about this operation. Now! Don't think I'll be doing that. Professional courtesy. Say goodbye. You think I'll go so easily? Don't make me laugh, old man. Do you really think you'll get away with this? I've been getting away with this since I was 12 years old. How does a 12-year-old commit murder? Same as anyone. Someone asked me to, so I did. Do you do everything people ask you to? If the price is right. to you why are you so angry stop asking me I am what I am all right why are you being so defensive I am NOT being defensive are you hiding from something what no what the hell are you talking about what the hell are you talking about? I have a knife to you! Why are you scared? Scary little inside. I think you're just a scared little boy inside. You are. You don't know anything about me. Are you hiding behind that knife? I. well. No! Care to prove it? What? Go on. You don't need the knife? Prove it. Or are you nothing but a nebbish? You son of a bitch. I don't need a knife to take your sorry ass. Heh. <laughs> Old man, you're funny. You think your god's going to help you out of this? No, I probably... Perhaps... Perhaps not. Does he have boxing training? <laughs> But my four years on the B'nai B'rith Yeshiva is High School like... boxing team will even the odds. What the hell, man? Perhaps <laughs> you didn't hear me the first time. I love that. Now do I have your attention? I love that. Let me go, man. Why is every like, religious leader choices. part of a boxing team? You can answer team. my questions, or I throw you onto the tracks. What? That's not very... You're crazy. Am I? Train's coming. Make your, your choice. choice. Fine. Fine! Who sent you? I... Answer! Zelig! Zelig? He's hooked in deep with the mafioso. Did you know that? Uh... He'd find struggling businessmen, like your friends Jack and Ethan, and then hook them up with investors. Investors? 
mafia investors. He got them God involved damn with the mob. The Italians. He got them in <laughs> debt so deep they needed a tractor to pull them out. When they refused to pay, I was called in to take care of them. So you killed Jack Lauder and Ethan Goldberg. Yes. I see. Well, one question remains. What should I do with you? Just let me go. Well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the Jewish thing to do. The train collided off into the filtering distance, and Joe DiMarco remained unconscious but alive. Perhaps you still have some purpose to fill. I've done all I can. I've shown mercy. The rest is up to God. Audrey. Audrey? Hello? Oh no. Ah, uh, she's dead. Oh wait, no struggle. Alright, so there's a struggle, okay. So there's no dead body yet. Shalom, Rabbi Stone. Evidently, my associates proved unable to complete his task, as he did not contact me at the usual time. I believe we have business to discuss. Do stop by. Zelig. I could walk away. I was getting Jack's money. I had solved the mystery. My conscience was clear. Yet the angry cries of a dead man screaming my soul. Jack, I'm sorry, Jack. As a man, I wished you all the happiness in the world. But as a rabbi, as a religious leader out of duty, I could not accept it. Can you understand? Jack! Jack! Forgive me, Jack. I'm sorry I cast you out. I'm sorry my actions sent you down this path. I... I... Get a hold of yourself, Stone. This isn't your doing. Some reasons are good, while some others are definitely evil, but most lie somewhere in between. For once, my reasons are crystal clear. Zelig. A mafia rabbi. rabbi Who would have saw that coming? How good of you to come. You didn't leave me much choice, Rabbi Zelig. That's not entirely fair. You could have walked away. I made a commitment. And you're so good at those, aren't you? Tell me what you want. I only want this, Stone. You're going to walk over to the balcony. Take a nice long look at the view. Enjoy it. It costs a bundle. Then, when you've thought carefully, about what brought you here, you're going to jump over the edge. <laughs> and why would I do this? How about to save her life? Ah. You bargain with a woman's life? You can go to hell. To Tutstone, your loyalty to this Shiksa is admirable. But I have no love of either of you. I can just as easily shoot her, then you, and throw you both off the balcony. I'd prefer to avoid complications, but it's the same to me either way. You think you'll get away with this? You have no idea what you're messing with, Stone. This goes way beyond you or me. I don't claim to see what lies beyond. All I see is a man charged with leading his people, but instead leads them to their deaths. It's not that simple, Stone. It never is. Pull your head out of the clouds and take a look around. This is how the world works. So, are you going to jump? Or is this going to get messy? Can 
I'd save it. Give me a shot. All right, you you hold. Good, we can be. Start walking. Now, open the door. Wait, there's one more thing. He moved the gun off me and pointed straight at him. <laughs> oh. Stop! Zelig! You! You son of a... DeMarco, you idiot! It's not enough you bungle your assignment. You show up here? Did anyone follow you? I want my money! You want what you deserve? Fine. Right the what? Crop. Are you going to say he didn't deserve it? I took a quick glance at her impression. I couldn't help but think that was a close call I've been made. He certainly served his purpose. Now, move. All this bloodshed sickens me. I... Kenneth Stone, you're on the edge. Now die with dignity and jump! I... Nothing you can possibly say will change things, Stone. I... I... Cut me the left arm. Your bravado is irritating. Now, jump! Your capacity for pain is indeed impressive. I'm almost tempted to watch you, but time is short. Now jump or die. My, I re No! I wanted a better ending. Save. Thank God for one of those saves. You got What are you waiting for? Just admiring the view. Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Okay. Oh, he is distracted now. I can grab his gun. You, you momzer! You are a nothing! What's this? You think you can knock me out like some common street punk? Oh god! They're both boxers! It was old, but certainly not as strong as me, but two bullets take I am Amos Zelig! I've spearheaded the strongest Jewish synagogue in Manhattan for over 30 years! Who are you, little rabbi?
You call yourself a Jew? You call yourself a hero? How can you fake? God knows more. I'm sure he understands. Are there others like you? More than you can possibly imagine. Is this how a rabbi acts? This is how the world acts. How can you live with yourself? With power, respect, and money. I manage quite well. You really think God will understand your actions? God knows what is necessary. I'm sure he understands. I try speedrunning this game. Are you happy with this life, Zelig? Yes. Are you? Am I? Oops. You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, this is how the world is. Get used to it. I ask again, how can you live with yourself? I have all the prestige and respect money can buy, Stone. I live quite comfortably. I'm sh How could do you do you see trust me? I am very happy with can you say the same? What? You really I this get you I I, I live You got I'm sure how could do you do you stress can you don't you don't make you think you I I, I leave you got I'm sure how can you do you do you stress can you huh? you really I this get you I, I have I leave God, I'm sh Just as I more. Zelig, it's over. What do you have to say for yourself? Mazel tov, Rabbi Stone. I applaud you to have come this Mazel far. Tov. You certainly are resourceful. Just what are you saying, Zelig? I do remember Jack Lauder. Very well. He came into my office eight years ago, looking to get married. It seemed that this Zionist pig-headed rabbi was against it. Oh, the things he said about you. Imagine my surprise when you showed up in my office. Yeah, I bet you were shocked, all right. I've done some checking up on you. In all these years, you've never learned to make concessions. Concessions? Concessions? The Jewish people are slowly becoming extinct. For thousands of years, we've struggled to keep our place on this planet, and you talk of concessions! As a rabbi, I do everything I can to help. And if that means refusing to conduct an interfaith marriage, then so be it! I can still look at myself in the mirror and call myself a rabbi. What are you, Zelig? You're nothing but a common criminal who consorts with gangsters and assassins! We all have our place in the big machine, Stone. And you? You're just a tiny squeaky wheel. Now be a good cog and just let me go. I know you don't have the guts to throw me over.
So, it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. We'll leave Rabbi Zelig for the police. You're... You're hurt. You're bleeding all over. It'll be okay, Mrs. Lauder. Okay. You were shot. Twice. It's all right. Let's just get out of here. Well, all right. If you say so. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Mrs. Lauder. Call me Raj, please. After all this, I think you deserve it. But we're going to the hospital and no argument. So casually while this one sure. guy knocked down, one guy dying. Atzai melech shemoni kra. The weeks pass bit by. Jack's bestowed, bestowed arrival in the mail and was able to pay all my debts. Thanks to the anonymous tip, the police picked up Amos Zelik before he regained consciousness. He even tried to tell them that I attacked him, but thankfully Raj testified on my behalf. Back to the grind. Another week, another Shabos. Has anything changed for me? Not Thank really. you, Canner Kaplan. Debt's still paying it up. There won't be a problem as long as Jack's money holds up. After that, it's best not to think. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question why do bad things happen to good people? Just how much pain? And it hit me. God might not seem fair. We may not always feel connected to Him. That is, we may feel lonely, and often do. Yet the underlying reality of our lives is that we are always connected, whether we feel it or not, whether we accept it or deny it. The connection is there. And since we are connected, we are responsible. Battling for goodness is how we give our lives meaning. Maybe there are no answers. Ultimately, we may never find that elusive truth. Yet ultimately, we may find something else. Meaning, significance, and fulfillment. If so, that may be enough. Dear God, I hope it's enough. The end with the good ending. <sighs> Let me go for the save because I don't want to go through the whole thing again. I should try to speed run this. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I like this one. Actually, I like all of them. It's okay. But... I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure that they didn't speed run this yet. So I could technically, in fact, put it on speedrun.com. a beard and a rub rabbit. How far is too far for these cosplay uh, speedruns? <laughs> yep, Abel Garfunkel, there we go. Gold farm, sorry. Detective Sam. All these is best. And then after that, I'm going to take a small break and get lunch. My name is Rabbi Stone. <laughs> it's been a while. Hi, but here I am. Oh, I'm doing all right. Doing all right? How goes the That's okay. It's no, no great shakes okay. as they go. <laughs> Thumb on the old Torah. <laughs> right on, right That's on. right. Rocking the mezuzah. <laughs> Rocking the mezuzah. That's what I like. That's how I, that's how I roll. 
<laughs> good night to you, Rabbi Zelig. Good night to you, Rabbi Smith. <laughs> no, good night to you. Good okay. Night to you. Okay. I told you I'd be back. Rabbi Stone, come with me if you want to live. You vile, murdering lowlife. You can go to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Hawks, Little smash. growling, never heard. Stone smash. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi Mad. <laughs> okay. Right. I don't know who you are or where you think you get off, but I think you'd better leave before I do something we'll both regret. Rabbi. I'm done talking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought his name was uh, Durkin, not Sturgis. Or is it a different detective? Uh, Sturgis here? <clears throat> yeah, Detective Sturgis. Oh, his... Um, holy crap, you're right. Okay. Oh my god, you're That's right. fine. That's, I don't know where I got that So, from. Durkin. Durkin. Yeah. Okay. Good, good call. All right. Good talking to All right. The denial. Okay. Denial. This temple's in pretty sad shape, isn't it, Rabbi? Hersh, herp. Oh, hello. <laughs> you think you'll get away with this? Can you try it like um, like it's a real question? Okay. You think you'll okay. Get away with you got it. You got it. You think you'll get away with this? You have no idea what you're messing with. Mess messing with them. <laughs> After all this, I think you deserve it. But we're going to the hospital, and no argument. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll go to the hospital with you, baby. <laughs> Any day. Nothing like a great old cup of coffee to keep you awake at night. Oh, I'm waiting for Santa Claus here in my mouth hole. Dave, this is a masterpiece. <laughs> Fabulous, I love it. She's seducing him. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Rabbi's done. Uh, Are you really made of stone? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Don't get sick. Let's not get sick. I got to go to the Quickie Mart. I'm going to go down there and get a nice old cup of coffee. There is a time and a place, Rabbi. And this is not it that is Irish. <laughs> Hearts, moon, stars, clovers. It's because I'm saying... <laughs> this is a hard one. Hold on. Oh, hard. breathing out on my thing. But during yeah. it, you're like... I don't believe yeah. this. Like, uh, it was just a lot of, you know, breath. And, and then one, there's a couple of voices where I was like... <sighs> because if you've just been... At, just as a sign of voiceover, this is a... Okay, yep, that was the game. <laughs> I'm going to double check while I'm at lunch. Well, I don't need that anymore, and that went super quickly. I might speedrun it, because it might... Could be canon! Has Durkin in it, has Rosa in it, it's a Rockwell game. <laughs> hey! And the one rabbi got, um, interviewed by Rosa. She interviewed the wrong rabbi.